let's get into some classical conditioning here for you today. We are going to look at trace conditioning. This time, um, what you haven't seen, folks, is the fact that we've recorded these all once before, and I got them backwards. Um, so the point is, is that it's completely okay to look things up because I was like through the last one, we were recording it, and we're like, I was in the middle of getting, and I'm like, I did that backwards. So anyway, these ones won't be backwards. These will be error corrected. So the really cool thing, though, is, is that you're missing one of the best videos we've ever recorded. We may just put it up because it was a mistake. Anyway, um, but it, it was a great video. So we might put it up just for fun. So to, and to point out that you can have fun making mistakes, and then you can correct your mistakes, and you can still have fun. It's okay to make mistakes. All right, so here we go. Trace conditioning, classical conditioning. Why is it important? Because trace conditioning and classical conditioning, all of it. That's how you develop reinforcers, right? So you're going to develop new reinforcers using classical conditioning procedures. So you better know your procedures. And I know I'm talking really quickly right now. It's because I've already presented all this content, and I'd really like to get through it because it's 5.30, which you know what that means. Anything you want it to mean. Anyway, um, so classical conditioning, where we need to present the CS and then the US, right? So the CS is going to predict the US, and that's how you end up developing a connection between the CS and the US, and you end up with conditioning. Okay, here we go. So um, in trace conditioning, I think is what we're talking about, we're going to turn the CS on, and we're going to turn the CS off before we turn the US on. So take a look up here. We got CS on, CS off, break. U.S. on, U.S. off. Now that break is called the inner stimulus interval. Um, so the time between the presentation of the two stimuli, the longer that is, the worse your conditioning. It's that simple. About a half a second is what historically has been used in the laboratory. But it's just a historical phenomenon. It doesn't matter. Like a quarter of a second. Who cares? It's all good. All right, there you go. So trace conditioning. There's a trace.